you sure you're ready? Yes, I'm ready. I was told to stay until my sister was safe, and thanks to Aro, she is. My duty is done. I'll be with you soon. It's only a matter of time. Once Seth accepts that he has to die for our forgiveness, you can go with me. It's time. So basically you just want me to fake a relationship to make Carla jealous? Pretty much. Alright. That's the plan. You were in a depressive state after Connie told you that she didn't want to talk to you anymore. I get it. So that's supposed to be up to someone. Oh snap. Who's gonna kill someone? And I don't want them to have the same fate as me and Brittany. Can I ask you a question? Anything. Do you have any guilt for killing Tawny and Brittany? Like, I haven't heard from him since college. It's like he disappeared from the face of the earth. I haven't heard anything from him either. Do you think Seth got to him? If he has, you would know. Where's Brittany? She crossed over after Arrow saved Anna from Seth a year ago. I still have unfinished business to do. Am I seeing things? No, you're not the only one. I, I thought Tawny was dead. She has been for two years. We're seeing her ghost. I'm not dreaming. No, you're not. You have a visitor. Come on. Where do you think he went? We just saw him. This doesn't make any sense. Didn't he go to an asylum? I was there when we brought him in. Under no authority were they supposed to let him out. He is a danger to the world and himself. If you really wanted to get out, you could. I know this might sound odd, but maybe you've just misunderstood him. Maybe he's really hurting and needs someone right now. Seth, what have you done? You killed her! I thought you said you weren't going to do anything reckless. Well, I lied. You were in a depressive state after Tawny told you that she didn't want to talk to you anymore. I get it. It's time. Be here tomorrow. Okay. And it needs to be done soon. I know. Te voy a bene. Te voy a bene. Lead, lead Aro on, 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 on to make him, make him keep, keep having his feelings for you. For you. It's Carlos. It's Carlos. So basically, so basically you just want, you me, just to want me to fake a relationship, fake a relationship to make Carlos jealous. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. All right. All that's right. the that's right. the plan. All right. All right. All right. right. Call you when it's, it's time. time
We have to do something. Are you suggesting that we go after Seth? Well, if he's up to something, we need to catch him before it's too late. Yes, he has been in an asylum for a year now. Life outside has changed. He's probably lost. What do you mean, lost? I'm sorry for killing your twin sister. I know. You were in a depressive state after Tawny told you that she didn't want to talk to you anymore. I get it. She was only trying to help. I know she was. Can I ask you a question? Anything. Do you have any guilt for killing Tawny and Brittany? I do feel guilt for killing Tawny and Brittany. What do you mean, lost? I mean that he has been under a rock for over a year. Things will be different for him. Are you trying to find out where Seth went? Yes, but we've had no success. If you were Seth, where would you be? Well, if I got out of an asylum, I would probably be... <gasps> Carlo, what is it? He's at the graves. Only one way to find out. Let your depression take over you. What do you want from me? Your life! Can't you just take my forgiveness? No! I don't mean any harm. I'm not here to hurt you, and neither is Carla and Chloe. I want to ask for your forgiveness. I was not well a year ago. Seth, you attempted to kill Anna. I'm still here. I know. I wish I could take it all back. Once people are dead, they are dead, Seth. Is there any way I can get your forgiveness? You know my price. Your life for my forgiveness. Where's Brittany? She crossed over. I can speak for the both of us. All right, I'll do it. Do what? If Seth comes with me, he'll receive mine and Brittany's forgiveness for what he's done. He'll have to be dead when he goes. Tell R.I. I've accepted my punishment. All right. 